once you've verified the alignment and the integrity of the, the tooling, the next step is to position the rolls. Uh, there's a couple of methods we can use uh, to do that. One of them is using a set of feeler gauges. Now, by design, there is a specific gap clearance between each of these rolls, which you can obtain from your tooling manufacturer. Once you know what that dimension is, simply uh, get the appropriate thickness with your feeler gauges. Pick two rolls to start with, a, a horizontal and a vertical, and bring the clevises in and start checking the gap between the flanges on those two sets of rolls. Um, you may have to go back and forth several times. And keep in mind, if you're making those clevis adjustments, you also want to periodically check the flanges here with your finger to make sure it's a nice, smooth transition. Once you've achieved the proper gap setting, move on to the other side and repeat the process again until you achieve the correct gap setting on this side as well. Um, if the alignment and integrity of the rolls is good, once you've done these three rolls, you should just be able to bring the top roll down and uh, the gaps should be equal all the way around. Now another method is using a plug gauge. Um, by determining uh, what the profile and dimension of these set of rolls are, you can have a set up plug gauge made to that specific profile. And the method by which you use with the plug gauge would be to open your side rolls up, get them out of the way, start with the top and bottom roll, place the plug gauge on the bottom roll, and adjust the top roll down until you cannot see any daylight between the plug gauge and the profile of the roll. Sometimes it's helpful to uh, position the light on the back side of the plate or have somebody hold a flashlight. It makes it a little bit easier to see if you've got any clearance in between the profile of the roll and the plug. Once you've adjusted the top to the bottom roll, you can pick one of the side rolls and start adjusting it in towards the plug. And it'll be very easy at that point to determine um, if the top or the bottom flange is going to hit the plug before the other. And you simply make an adjustment up and down with your top and bottom roll at that point until you can bring that side roll in and the radius on the roll matches perfectly with the radius on the setup plug gauge. Uh, once, once that's been set, again, if the alignment and integrity of the rolls is good, then uh, this last side roll should come right in, adjust it in, until you close out all the daylight and can't see any daylight between the plug gauge and the roll. At that point, you should have equal drag on all the rolls. And if you were to go back and check with the feeler gauge, you should be very close to your uh, gap settings like we did initially with the feeler gauge.